Um, when you install an item plugin in Apex, you use it just like you would in any other item. So, for example, if you were creating a, a new item, you, one of the first options is what type of item do you want to install? Well, when it comes to plugins, you need to look for the plugin option. All right, so select that when you're creating a new item. In our case, we're simply changing an existing item. So it's just like if we wanted to change, say, a text box item to a text area item, we would simply change the display as attribute. And that's exactly what we'll be doing here. So let's take a look at that. I go into the item. It's this customer ID item. I drill into it. Here's our display as, and if we open up the options here, you'll see the new plugin option right here. So just like any other item in Apex, that's what makes plugins so powerful. Very easy to use. Now that I've selected it, one of the things you'll see change quite a bit is settings. So if I, if I go from one display as to another, these settings down here will change. And these are instance level settings. So if I look back at the previous tab, and again, we're in shared components, plugins, looking at the plugin edit screen. Again, we see settings. These are global, okay? Global settings over here at the item level, instance settings. So the global settings, of course, will affect each and every uh, instance of this particular plugin within the application, whereas these instance level settings affect only this particular instance. So let's look at a couple of the options here. The first thing I want to show you is the list of values. This is the list of values that was being used by the uh, pop-up list of values we saw by default. And the list of values queries that we're used to in Apex are very standard. There are two parts, one part display, one part return. And they are in that order. So first concatenated with, I'm sorry, last concatenated with first is the display here. And the customer ID is our return. Now, with Super LOV, you're not really tied to that particular uh, you know, structure for a list of values, as we'll see here in a moment. But I'm going to make do with what we have for now. But I do need to change a setting here. So the very first instance setting we're going to see is the item display and return columns. And what I want to do is switch this around a little bit. I'm going to change the item display which as we see here, the display is the first column, so I'm going to make that one, comma, two, two being the return column, which is the second. Okay? So that's really all we need to do. I'm going to apply that, run the page, and now the item is a super LOV as opposed to the regular pop-up LOV. If I click on open here, you see the main differences. What we're looking at is a pop-up that is not a separate window, but rather a modal dialog within the same page. We have searchability. Um, you may notice right now that our headings and, and thus our search uh, options aren't quite where we would like them to be just yet, but that's all right. We'll fix that as we go. We have a basic LOV here with pagination, searchability, and all the stuff you'd expect to have. From here, we need to make some adjustments. As I mentioned, the column headings aren't quite right. And the way we fix that with SuperLOV is using column aliases. So that's what we use to control the column headings. And just keep in mind that in Oracle, you can use double quotes to control case, as well as add spaces into a column heading. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So let me grab a new query. And we'll close the modal and go to edit the page. Go back into the item. And we have the original query here. I'm going to overwrite that with a new query. Okay, this time we've switched the query up. The return value is actually the first column. The display value is the second column. But we have additional columns, such as state and credit limit, that can provide our users with more information. Ultimately, you're still selecting a single uh, entry or, or a customer, but now we get additional information that can help us make that selection. So because I've moved the return column to the first place, I'm going to switch these back to the original way that I had them. We'll do a two comma one. 
Okay. And note the double quotes around our headings or our column aliases, which of course are allowing us to get the formatting that we're looking for. I'll apply this change, rerun the page. Looks the same here, but when we open this up, our headings are like we would expect them to be, and of course, uh, the search is as well. One of the enhancements that Jason made for us with this version of Superlove is to make the plugin more keyboard friendly. This is a really nice enhancement, especially if you have power users. Uh, we really developed this plugin while working at a particular client site. They're one of these types of sites that just has uh, massive numbers of users. They're working with big data. And so we really made this plugin focus on performance, something we'll talk about again a little later. But uh, this is a really powerful option if you have the types of users that are used to sticking with the keyboard, want to avoid the mouse as much as possible. Uh, our plugin now helps them. So let's say, for example, that a user was focused on the item here, create order for, and they hit tab. You may or may not have seen it. Uh, we haven't adjusted the theme yet, but currently the clear button is highlighted. If I hit tab again, the open LOV option has now been selected. So if I hit enter on the keyboard, it opens up the LOV, and of course, I can use my up and down arrows in the keyboard to move through the selections. I can also use the left and right arrows in the keyboard if we had additional pages and the results to paginate through. And of course, once we're on the selection we want, say Edward Logan, I can hit enter, and it returns that value. Now it actually stays focused on the LOV in case, uh, on the open button, I should say, in case a mistake was made, you hit enter again, and it goes right back to open, escape closes, and so on. So you have lots of good options with just the keyboard now. 